just how many times they say Team Rocket busting off again. When I was a kid, I used to watch Pokemon a lot. Watch them fly again and again wasn't fun. But today we will make them fly again in Adobe After Effects. This is gonna be a fun tutorial, so without wasting any time, let's jump to the tutorial. This is a Adobe After Effects tutorial, so I will focus on After Effects. Let's just quickly tell you what I did in Photoshop. At first I needed to select the subject. I have some tutorials where I showed how to select anything in Photoshop. You can watch them, I will put some links in the description. The images I selected were very low quality, so I had to paint them again. I thought I will just paint in some areas, but ended up painting the whole image. Anyway, after that I imported all those files in Adobe After Effects and this is where our tutorial begins. Ok, first drag the background image here to create a new composition. It's just a photo so nothing moves. Now drag the Team Rocket photo. I have three of them. The idea is to change their position like we used to see on the series or any other cartoon or anime series. You see them in one position and in the next frame they just change their style or position. This is how they work. We can change their appearance in every one second. That means every one second the image will change. Make sure they do not overlap to one another. We can just trim the layer down. After that, bring the explosion into our composition and place it here where it covers them. Now select the Team Rocket 3 layer and press T for opacity. I want to reduce the opacity to 0 after the explosion so that it looks like they are faded out into the explosion. After that bring those PNG files and try to resize them. And set the anchor point in the middle. It will help us to rotate them from the center. I will add some keyframes so that after the explosion they will fly from here to here. First expand the layers and add keyframes in opacity by clicking on the stopwatch icon. I will increase the opacity to fade in. Now add keyframes in position to move them from here to here. Now again add keyframes in rotation. Increase the amount to 0 to maybe 300 or 400. Now add keyframes in scale. They will get smaller as they fly further away. But as we scale them down, the distance between them increases. So we need to again reposition them. Ok, now I will add a shockwave just at the moment of explosion. There are many ways to do that, but to make things easy, I will add this white circle. Put the circle above the explosion, scale it down and just after the explosion, increase the size. We can change the blend mode or decrease the opacity to blend in to the image. Now go to effects and presets and search for glow. Drag it to the explosion layer. Play with these settings according to your choice. It will add some glow in the explosion. Now let's shake the camera at the moment of explosion. Select everything, right click and select pre-compose. Now create a solid. We don't need to see it so turn off the layer visibility. Go to effects and presets and search for slider control. Expand the solid so that we can see the effects. Now in position hold alt or option and click in the stopwatch icon. We'll type an expression that will help us to shake the camera. Type wiggle. Set the frequency to 20 and then drag the pick whip to the slider control. Now go to slider control and add some keyframes at the moment of explosion. Increase the amount at the moment of explosion and then gradually reduce it. Since we moved the frame, so here you can see some transparency. We can simply increase the size or we can add another effect called motion tile. Increase the output weight and height and check mirror edges. Finally, drag the ester and place it where the team rocket vanished. Add keyframes in a scale and make it fade out by placing keyframes in opacity. I have added some sound effects and finally it looks like this. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please like and subscribe. 
and don't just subscribe ring the bell so that you don't miss any new tutorials if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching